Hello everyone, it's Miss Celeste from the library. Today we're going to read an interesting story about a woman named Mary Jackson. Mary Jackson was a mathematician and engineer back in the 1950s and she worked for NASA. So let's begin our story. Again, the name of our story is Human Computer Mary Jackson Engineer. It was written by Andy Dean. So Andy Dean would be the author of the book and it was illustrated by Katie Mazika. So Katie is the person that actually drew the pictures for the book. So again, we're going to learn what it was like for Mary Jackson to overcome challenges and become the first African-American woman to work at NASA. So NASA is the National Aeronautics Space Administration, and they are an organization within the United States that are responsible for the science behind our space rockets and our airplanes that fly. Okay, so we will begin, Human Computer, Mary Jackson, Engineer. So a little background for Mary. As a girl, Mary wanted to be an engineer, but because she was black, some said, not your career or you can't be. Segregation took away her path of choice until she fought back and raised her voice, demanding to be let into the classes she needed and through persistence and hard work, because that's really what she wanted, she succeeded. She became NASA's first black female engineer. Then she made sure the path for others was clear. Even as a young girl, as you see over here, Mary Jackson loved math and science. She loved learning how things worked and she loved helping people. Mary wanted to be an engineer and to solve problems with math and science. But Mary grew up in a time when black people and white people were kept apart by something called segregation. Black children weren't always taught the same subjects as white children. There were very few black engineers and even fewer female engineers. Mary still loved learning math and science. She wanted to know how everything worked. And here she is with her teacher. She's writing, um, writing an equation on the board. And over here, Mary beat the odds and went to college. So this is her older as she's in college. She became a math teacher, or I'm sorry, after she graduated college. She became a math teacher and shared her love of numbers with her black students. Mary shared her learning with other little girls too. She was a Girl Scout leader. She loved to build wind tunnels and test model airplanes with her scouts. You see all the little girls have airplanes and they're flying them. And this right here must be the wind tunnel that they use for their experiments. A few years later, after Mary had a baby, she went to work as a clerk. She answered the phone and wrote messages. She was good at her job, but she missed learning how different things worked. So Mary got a job at the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory as a human computer. So what is a human computer? Engineers at Langley were working to improve airplanes. They needed human computers who were very good at math to help them. So because Mary was so good at math, they hired her to become a human computer. Mary was happy to work with numbers again. Mary loved her job, but there was a big problem. Langley was segregated. As you see here, it says men and then women, no whites only. Mary grew more and more angry. She was tired of being treated differently. There are many people who thought segregation was wrong. An engineer named Casimir Sarnecki asked Mary to come work with him. Kaz thought everyone should work together. And Mary agreed. She went to work as a computer for engineers who were studying things that traveled at supersonic speed or faster than the speed of sound. Mary wanted to be an engineer more than ever. All she needed to do was take classes at a local school, but there was one problem. The school was segregated. Black people weren't allowed to go to school there. Mary had to ask the city to give her special permission to take classes at the white school. Finally, after a lot of persistence, the city said yes. Mary studied hard and became Nassau's first African-American female engineer. You see her here looking at an airplane, I guess trying to figure out how it works. Um, or just maybe the design of it. Very interesting now. And this right here looks like another wind, big wind tunnel. Mary worked as an engineer for many years. She helped design the spacecraft that first carried men to the moon. Can you imagine being a part of designing the spacecraft where men went to the moon? 
That is so exciting and so interesting. Mary had achieved her dream. Now she wanted to help other people achieve their dreams. After all, no one had expected Mary to become the first African-American female engineer at Nassau. And this must be her office, Mary Jackson, Manager, Office of Equal Opportunity Programs. So, and she knew she wouldn't be the last. So what that's saying is, here's Mary. This must be a picture of her when she became older. And here she is uh, teaching a, a bunch of young ladies um, about spacecraft and aircraft. So it just goes to show you that if you work hard and you have a lot of perseverance, you can pretty much accomplish anything you want. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you later.